So I have all the terms which I need. Now I'm just going to substitute this. Let's quickly go ahead. So in the past, I've already done the analysis for propagation delay high to low and propagation delay low to high. And the one which is written in blue is a formula for propagation delay low to high. And we have all the terms with us. So let's start substituting. C load is given as two picofarad. So let's write that quickly. Two into 10 raised to minus 12 upon kn kn is nothing but mu n cox w by l of n mos which is 20 into 20 micro ampere by volt square which will be nothing but 420 into 20 is 400 correct 400 into 10 raised to minus 6 because it's micro ampere into vdd minus vtn vdd is given as 5 volts vtn is given as 1 so 5 minus 1 that is nothing but 4 we have this open the bracket twice into VTN which is again nothing but 1 so twice into 1 is nothing but 1 upon VDD minus VTN 5 minus 1 4 plus log of 4 times VDD minus VTN VDD minus VTN is again as I said it's 4 so 4 into 4 upon VDD which is nothing but 5 minus 1 so this is as simple as this now what you need to do is just simplify this and solve this mathematically the value which you'll get here of the propagation delay is nothing but 1.61 nanoseconds similarly though we had not derived the formula for propagation delay low to high we know that it will be exactly same like high to low only the nmos terms would be changed to pmos terms for example if there is kn it will be written by kp and wherever there is vtn or threshold voltage of nmos it will be written by mod of threshold voltage of pmos and that's exactly the variation so let's quickly do propagation delay low to high again c load is given to us 2 into 10 raised to minus 12 upon kp which is 10 micro ampere by volt square into 20 so that is 200 correct 200 into 10 raised to minus 6 into vdd minus vtp mod vtp that is 5 minus mod so minus sign of vtp will go so 5 minus 1 which is nothing but 4 into twice mod vtp so 2 into 1 upon vdd minus vtp vdd is 5 vtp is 1 so this is nothing again but 4 plus log of 4 times vdd minus vtp so 4 into 4 upon 5 minus 1 if you solve this we'll get 3.22 nanoseconds so low to high propagation delay is 3.22 nanoseconds and propagation delay high to low is 1.61 nanoseconds and we know that here the effect of PMOS is present and PMOS are slower so this delay has to be a higher value compared to this because here the effect of NMOS is present. I hope you have understood the question and you have also understood that it's a very straightforward term if you know the equations which we have already derived. Just you needed to interpret the question and after that it was very straightforward. Thank you very much and stay tuned for further clips.